So this guy is not making me happy at all. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I usually do is uh, we do band takes and we, we, we work on the groove and stuff to the quick. We can we can bust out ten songs all day long today, and it's going to sound like an amplified version of you guys in your practice space. Right. Or we could take fewer songs and play yeah, them cool. live and really get a groove going and, and and really play together and stuff like that. That's the thing that hardly ever comes across when bands come in the studio. They're, yeah. They got to. They, they're, it's always rush, 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 fly through the songs because this is all the dough we got. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens later on when the guy mixes it. Yeah. It, it never and works. I'm, yeah. And I'm no, I'm not opposed to Coming throwing back. in, yeah. throwing in for a second day. Yeah, but just yeah. out of my own pocket, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> what I think we can do today is is track. What do we talk about? Three, three, three or so. Yeah. Like really, really yeah. fucking yeah. well. Dial I mean, good. just like. Murder them. Yeah. Plus, we can and leave then, here with sort of a finished copy too. Oh, we can leave here with a rough mix easily. Right. Yeah. I mean, what we should shoot for is if we do three, probably a day of tracking and a day of mixing. That'd be ideal because I can become a, almost a band member in mixing. I'll just push the stuff up and then let it play mm -hmm. and then hand you back something that's loud. I mean, I get in there and I change drum sounds, I, I tune vocals, hand tune them, hand draw them into tune, I double up stuff and it becomes a powerful thing. Yeah. I really mix. And you got my note about keeping Dave down. Yeah. I got you. Wait, wait, you wait. said he would mix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I got a hundo out there. <laughs> 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 We're going to get along with it. <laughs> Somebody oh, say, get back. I had to start that shit. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. so, so the big thing is your stuff doesn't even matter, but the but the pocket and the feel of it matters. You know, and, and you just then, want it as a guide. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And and I, I don't want to I want to save some for later on when these guys are all tired and you're going to come back to life and, and murder it. Okay. You can sing. You can play. It's going to be great. But uh, what this thing does is every one of these is a separate recording track. So I'm going to group all these together. We're going to do like few takes it's going to be weird get, you know getting back fresh with the click track right. and getting everybody else in the same pocket yeah i don't think it'd be much of a problem there and then we're gonna we're gonna record the thing all the way down keeping the same format and then i get once i think we have two or three good takes i get the best parts of yeah. each pass i mean like if he played a sweet sweeter drum fill in take three we just get that and pull it forward and glue it together with the rest so overall, I, I, I find the best band take that we've done and use that as a as a guide. And then if there's better stuff back there, like a lot of times if you blow something here and there, you don't even have to replay it and punch in because it's it's there in one of the other takes. Right. Cool. So that's... So basically, get through the songs, don't really stop. Unless there's a major screw up, don't stop. Yeah, the idea is to tell you, you tell me what you need to hear real well. Right. It, the balance between the click and then these guys here. And then, you know, you got right in the middle of those things and, and every snare hit the same time, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, Brian and I decided we wanted really loud guitars, too. Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> but Phil and I decided that later on we'd come back and get to the side. Dial it out. Pull, he gets to the side. There's a hundo in it for you. There's a hundo. A hundred. <laughs> so we'll have, we'll have this in here, and this goes um, to his headphones. That's all that does. So I can hear all he's talking. I heard, I heard it all fine anyway. Yeah. So I heard everything you guys said about me. Exactly. Hey, yeah. you suck, you suck. Sorry, you suck. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry then, now for um, what I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, I forget there's a lot of I'm going to have you out here kind of recording for real in case we get some good stuff yeah. From, yeah. from there, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. So. Awesome. Make sure all the cell phones are off, Just guys. Don't, don't over push it. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, cell phones do. They uh, uh, vibrate yeah. through the. Uh, I'm turning it off. Go out in a little bit to get food. Right. So. When Cheryl's ready, we'll go. Damn! Almost late emergency SOS. Go ahead. What? Oh. I want to just set it out here. Well, Rob's recording out there too, so I need to turn the ringer off. Yeah, let's put it on airplane fucking mode.